hundred years ago since the train arrived with pomp and show. Into town came an important gent to talk constriction was his intent. The Warwick folk politely stood, but some of them, up to no good, decided they didn't like the news. They were totally against his views. To let him know their discontent, an egg in his direction sent. The important gent then did his best and told police, make an arrest! The local policeman could not agree, said, the incident I did not see. So it came about that Warwick Station is held in all, all throughout the nation. In a little while will come a train that fate will lay to see again. Our troop of actors will recreate the day that Billy met his face. Hurrah for Warwick! God bless Australia! Away. No delay, go today. Make your daddy glad to have had such a lad. Tell your sweetheart not to hide. To be proud of our boys in line. Over there, over there. Send the word, send the word over there. That the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming. The drums are coming everywhere. So prepare. A prayer, send the word, send the word to beware. We'll be over, we're coming over, and we won't come back till it's over, over there, over there. All the hoops bring the egg and poor old Billy as he stood there on the back end of the terrain. Hoops bring the egg and poor old Billy. Oh, what a scandal, what a shame. He sends the young fellow.
Please join with me in welcoming the head of the Australian Federal Police, Commissioner Andrew Colvin, to make an address on behalf of the AFP. Commissioner Colvin. Such different times, different challenges, yet somehow, somehow there are so many common elements. Billy Hughes nor Paddy Brosnan could, possi could have possibly imagined what would eventuate from one simple civil act of disobedience. Today we've gathered for a variety of reasons to commemorate the Warwick incident and the subsequent creation of federal policing in our country. We've come here for our own reasons and we take our own meaning from the event. As AFP Commissioner, I am just one in the long line, long line of custodians of the tradition and history of Commonwealth policing. It has undergone many twists and many turns in the past 100 years. More, though, I can say than can be normally expected for any institution like ours. But it's a proud, rich and interesting heritage that current day AFP officers carry with them each and every day. So in this park, this park that has, been, that has remained nameless for 100 years, is now known officially as the Billy Hughes Park. In a moment we'll of course unveil a plinth to commemorate the tale of the Warwick incident, which is part of the folklore of this community. But it also, importantly for me and for my officers, speaks to the origins of the many organisations that have gone before us to what is now the Australian Federal Police. 
To finish, let me say that I want to acknowledge the Southern Downs Regional Council for the initiative to want to commemorate this occasion. As you can imagine, I see, receive a lot of correspondence each day, and not all of it's friendly. But this letter, nearly two years ago, brought a smile to my face and created an anticipation that today has been realised. Thank you for recognising the AFP and our history, and thank you to the people of Warwick and the surrounding areas for allowing us this small indulgence that we are having today. I hope you can be proud of the legacy that was created here, and I hope that you can be proud of the work that we do. Finally, I do want to assure you all that the AFB has returned to, the, to Warwick 100 years later in some numbers with the very best of intentions. Our Queensland Police colleagues are our good friends. They are also our very best of partners. Thank you very much.